Did Pelosi's security chief perjure himself in the Oath Keepers trial? Oath Keepers founder Stuart Rhodes has been sentenced to 18 years in prison. The Oath Keepers are extremists who promote a wide range of conspiracy theories and sought to act as a private paramilitary force for Donald Trump. <laughs> The one thing that the government was absolutely intent upon doing was not allowing anything that painted the Oath Keepers in a positive light. These are videos that were never released to the defense attorneys. The U.S. Capitol Police Special Agent David Lazar is saying that the violence that the rioters brought to the Capitol never ended for many of us. The trauma had reached into our homes, our personal lives, and our loved ones. The story in the testimony from Special Agent, now this is Capitol Police Special Agent David Lazarus, when he heard the gunshot fired. Fired. at 243, 244, that he was down in the tunnels escorting senators to the other Senate uh, right. office buildings. And that's quite a, it's quite a long distance away from the House chamber. The Capitol Police officer assigned to the protective detail of then House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on January 6th appears to have given false testimony about his whereabouts. We tracked him all the way through the tunnels. They uh, yeah, essentially created a script for him and put him in a place with a tale to tell that never happened. He was then shown in court a video clip of four Oath Keepers standing in front of Dunn. Lazarus was asked, are these the individuals you observed? Yes, yes. At any point in these three or four interactions in this space, did you observe any sort of anything but antagonistic conversation? No, that's correct. He said this under oath. In great detail, he describes what he saw. It just did not happen. It couldn't have happened because he was a half a mile away in another part of the building. If we were living in normal times, the people that had been convicted, they would be released. Because this is perjury. We have a high-ranking Capitol Police special agent with that designation who was the head of Nancy Pelosi's security detail who was brought in specifically to corroborate the testimony of another Capitol Police officer with shaky um, testimony himself. We are waiting on this, the release of this video, the permission to show it right here on The Blaze. When we release a day in the life of Harry Dunn on January 6th, it will contradict every single thing he has ever said about that day.